Hey guys, Pop Scrap here. And um, today I'm taking apart a load of um what you see when I get in a bag. This is a bag of goodies that I have here. I stripped I pulled the bag out of here, I did. Just just too much stuff coming in. There's more than I actually thought. Um, as you can see here with a nice motor. I wouldn't say that's copper, but you give it a nick here and see. Usually they're not these kind of motors, but you never know. No, aluminum, chinesium. <laughs> so, a scrap motor. Let's throw that down here. Try to get sorted with the motors and stuff. So, I'm going to take all this apart. Uh, one thing I get a lot of, and a lot of scrap, well, I don't know a lot of scrappers. There's a lot of guys, around, uh, there's lads around where I live that go through. Um, Liking mattress that does the skips and stuff. They religiously go and do the skips to do. But I find a lot of this stuff in skips. They don't take it. You pull that off. That's just this brass. This is all brass, guys. Stick to try a magnet. No sticking. And you can see inside there the brass colour. So that for me, that's clean brass. With a little bit of rubber on it, but still clean blast brass for me. So the usual what we have here is a ball of wire. Um, I have to start going through it all. Let's start cutting a few plugs. I want to say thanks, guys. The last video I did it's crazy the amount of um, amount of views I got off it. Um, went up in the first day. I think I got four hundred views. Um, for me, that's a lot. So all I'm doing here is just cleaning the wire. Put the plugs up there and worry about them again the next day. So I'm gonna have a lot of plugs to take apart, so I don't mind. Like this is all pure brass. I'll take one apart for you. I know you've probably seen me scrapping these out before, but some guys out there, new subscribers, are just interested in taking things apart and I'll show you here. Let's take one apart quick for you. Okay, now, usually, when you have a flat head, probably you can tell me wrong now, when you have a flat head, this is non-magnetic, as you can see, it doesn't stick to top screw, now that's pure brass, um, if you have a star head here, they're the more modern ones, they're the little screw on top is usually brass plate or something like that it is, with steel, but that's just pure brass, and what you have here is, more brass, and more brass, just one second guys. Sorry about that guys. One of my kids were calling me. So as I was getting back to this brass plug, as you can see there's a lot of brass in them. Now for a lot of scrappers this is very tedious for them. But if you have 30, 40, 50, as I get hundreds of them, it's easy to scrap out. So another one. And what I usually do with this, just cut that off. So, what it averages out in a plug, something like 40 to 50 grams of brass per plug. You add that up, guys, over plugs, and I can really strip plugs very fast. If you go back to my other videos, you'll see. So, just keep clogging away. So, what I do, I do about 40 plugs at a time, just that I won't bore myself. This is another good thing. This is another thing I like doing. What I'll do is I'll just pull them out here the wire out I get any amount of these in I keep this only for there's a mark here on it um, I get any amount of these in skips and hopefully I got a contact now that of a builder that I get a lot of electrical and wire and scrap off them so this is another good thing I pick up all the time in skips so I'll show you inside a lot of people just 
scrappers just leave them there to skip and I'll just come along and pick all that up so we'll take out a few of these Phillips screws now sometimes this can maybe held in by the two little corners here but we'll see how we get on which it is actually so what we have to do here is trying to release this out some way or there's another easy way when it's scrap it's scrap put it like that release one side so that then releases all this Like a lot of scrapper wouldn't do this, but for me, my brass adds up very fast with this. As you can see here again, put it all up my hand. Now, if I was not doing this on video, this will take me seconds to scrap apart. Absolutely just seconds. Now, see how it's a flathead screw here again? Just test that. It's steel, this one. It sticks. So, what we do is we take that off. We'll open them up and we'll put these to the side for the time being. But yeah, there's a lot of brass in them. Add up very fast, guys. Now we get something else to take apart. Just keep going here with this. I typically when I make a video of the kids are just absolutely daddy, daddy, daddy. Always the same, guys, when you make a video. I can get an abundance amount of brass. Brass for me is the easiest thing to pick up. Now, like is it likes this cable here? Good thick cable. I'll strip that cable because it's good thickness. Um, for me, it's worth stripping. So I have to get a bucket together or a barrel for cable I will strip for copper wire. So we throw that pack up there because we will. I will be stripping that. Same with this, this is old cable. This is back a long, long time ago when you see the red and the black. So that we stripped. Throw that up there. There we go, this is the cable now I'd be stripping. So I'm gonna get a bucket for that and put all that into it. Strip the cable out the strip. A bit more brass. That's what we got here. As I said, I like love stripping these. Now this one is more modern. No screws, they're sealed, they're pain to open. So when you pull the open these up, there should be three little brass strips. If I can get into it here now, handy enough. Because I have the camera set, I don't want to be uh, banging. Wire, wire, wire. There we go. Brute force, guys. It's the only way. No, there we go. We're in. It's the only way to open these because there's all little. I presume if I, actually if I put a big flat head down and through here, it'll open up all the sealed parts in there. But this is what I'm looking for. It should come out. Always the same, never comes out when you want it. But these are the brass sections. All adds up very fast. Bit of wire on it, cut the wire off. And again, we've clean brass. Pure clean brass. Into the brass bucket. Stain steel, more rubbish. Keep cutting the wires off or the plugs off the wire. Now, this is looking pretty clean now at the minute. This bit of wire is cleaned. I'm sure you know where I go with this. Go down. 
Try to get the shed finished. The shed is not finished yet, as usual. <laughs> so, don't mind the mess out here. This is the side room. This will be all cleaned up. My tools, as you can see, all the tools I have for working, scrapping, and it's just everywhere they are. And they have to go when the shed's built. I'm just getting through the pile slowly. I'm still working up this bench, which I hope I wasn't going to be, but gotta be done, guys. Oh. Sorry for the camera work, guys. It's not the best, but rain it outside. Just the shed now. Getting there. Slowly, it's getting big. It's a big shed. So, in here, guys. Pull this up. Adding up nicely the wire. Been full. Well, I'm starting to put cast alley in here. And uh, more bins I have, I'd strip, strip part that door, so, yeah. Been keep busy. Cutting pallets up, filling my shed up with timber for the winter. So I'm going to put that in there. But yeah, like, guys, like, comment, subscribe, guys. I know it's, um, it's been busy, 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 y'all are. And I'm trying to keep busy myself. Put a like, comment, subscribe guys, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again, bye.